Good day, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to the launch of KZN's Mental Health Advocacy Group's World Mental Health Day Extravaganza of Events. I am Dr. Sophia Ramla, psychiatrist, mental health advocate, and activist. Six years ago, together with the members of the KwaZulu-Natal Mental Health Advocacy Group, we set an intention to hold an annual walk on Durban's beautiful beachfront to promote mentally healthy lifestyles, advocate for better mental health services, and create awareness about services and support that are available for those suffering from or affected by mental illness. It therefore gives me great joy to be joining you in our fifth walk this year, which goes virtual as necessitated by lockdown safety regulations. Despite the global impact of the COVID pandemic, it is with both humility and gratitude that you and I can celebrate this milestone together. 2020 will go down in history as a novel experience for all of us. While the COVID pandemic has wreaked havoc at many levels, like all life crises and struggles, it also brought us many life lessons and the opportunity to grow our resilience. As we commemorate World Mental Health Day on the 10th of October, from the mental health perspective, whether you were infected by the virus or not, we are all affected mentally and emotionally. We have lived through fear, uncertainty, danger, isolation, sickness, and multiple losses of life, of loved ones, jobs, financial security, our freedom to engage with each other, our usual work, studies, social and recreational activities. It was through these challenges that the need for maintaining our mental health was highlighted. When our physical movements were severely restricted and we were unable to travel, we could still make that all important journey inward to the eternal but so neglected relationship that with our inner world of thoughts, feelings, and meaning. This inner relationship with ourselves is the foundation of our mental and emotional well being. The nature of this relationship determines how we experience challenging times. Yet this inward journey is one many of us shy away from. A healthy, loving, forgiving relationship with ourselves is the foundation and template for all our relationships in life. And healthy relationships are one of the pillars of resilience in mental health. In order for us to be less vulnerable in times of personal, local or global crises, today is the day to set an intention to commit to a lifestyle of health, healing and growth. We therefore encourage you to participate in our menu of activities, which you can sample freely and safely online. Walk wherever you are and show us how you move for mental health. Join our fun-filled zumba less session Find your Zen in yoga or experience the inner joy, peace and tranquility through mindfulness practices. So what has walking got to do with mental well-being or our overall health in general? I have worked in the public sector psychiatric hospitals with people who have minimal resources to access or afford formal or fancy mental health therapeutic programs. However, there is at least one activity that is within the capability and accessibility of almost every person over the age of 18 to 24 months, an activity that has no cost implications for training, equipment, special uniforms or venues, something that can be done in the heart of your home, indoors or outdoors. And that activity is walking. Now, many people will scoff at the seemingly cheap, simple activity, but let me reassure you there is much scientific evidence attesting to its effectiveness in promoting and maintaining physical and mental health, such that doctors include it in their prescriptions too. Harvard, one of the most prestigious universities in the world, publishes regular health bulletins. And believe it or not, their October 2020 issue, released just a few days ago, is titled, Reinvent Your Walking Regimen. And I'll read an excerpt from there. Quote, putting one foot in front of the other is a simple way to trigger a cascade of health benefits. Regular brisk walks help lower bad cholesterol, control blood sugar, reduce the risk for high blood pressure, 
heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. Brisk walks also strengthen muscles, burn calories, and lift your mood, unquote. I would add to that impressive list that walking directly benefits your brain health. It affects positively the very structure and functioning of your brain and is certainly advocated for those wanting to keep their mood and memory healthy and to reduce stress. I can assure you that there is no food or drug that can achieve all these benefits and without any bad side effects. For those who think that walking is boring, the Harvard Bulletin mentioned recommends that you mix up your walking regimen with the following different types of walking that will maximize its physical, mental, and emotional benefits. And these different types of walking are exercise-focused walking, sport walking, meditative walking, and social walking. Now, hopefully I have thrashed all possible excuses you, you may have to defer taking that all important first step. As they say, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So don't take my word for it. Put your best foot forward and step up for mental health. It is the best investment you will make and the rewards are infinite. Centuries ago, Hippocrates, the father of medicine said that walking is man's best medicine. Today, globally, walking is hailed as the new wonder drug and nature's best medicine. So I invite each one of you to step up for your mental health. Walking will keep your body in shape, your brain healthy, and your heart happy. So walk the talk, because walk is cheap, but priceless. Do not forget to post your pictures and videos. Hashtag step up KZN. Hashtag speak your mind. Move for mental health. Have fun and remember that walking is the best and safest way to get high naturally.